Hey guys, what's happening? So, I'm in the process of restoring my CD radio, you know, RF area here on my workbench. And in another video, I, I got this Palomar, um, that, that big meter right there. And you probably can't tell in the light, but it's slightly yellowed. Um, so I've been reading online, and I hear to get rid of a lot of this yellow stuff. I heard people, well, I've seen people actually use this hydrogen peroxide. Doing a lot of research on it. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I mean, I know I can polish it. That's not a big deal. Like, I can polish it with toothpaste or whatever, or even just like, you know, sand it out. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, in, this, in the light, it doesn't look that bad, but when you turn the light off, it looks a, a little bit more yellow. So, see, when there's no light, it's a little more yellow. But the white face behind it is, is clean. I've already looked at that, but so I'm going to pop that thing off real fast and then see if. Uh, I'm gonna See, you can see the back The back face is, is very white. So, um, here's a closer look at it on the light here. You can see the slightly yellowed. And some of the areas, I'm not going to be able to polish. See this area there, it's, it's, it sort of has like texture to it, so I wouldn't be able to polish that area. Um, so, I actually had, had rubbed this down with WD 40. So, I'm going to first go back and clean it with some soap and water to get that WD 40 so the peroxide can penetrate in there. So I guess I'll be the guinea pig here. Um, actually, where did I, I... Well, I was watching one of the videos of that BBI, BBI Amps. He makes Amps. He's an Idaho. Pretty cool channel. Um, and I heard him mention that he was going to dip the lens. He didn't go in the procedure of cleaning the lens. He just said he dipped the lens in peroxide. And I didn't really... That's what kind of turned me on to like what he was talking about. I was like, what? So I started doing some research because I wanted to get this more clear. So... Um, all right, so I'm going to do this in plastic, well, in hydrogen peroxide and see what, see what it does. All right, so I decided to take that little washer off just because um, I didn't know if that was going to react to the peroxide. And then a little adjustment tab in there. Um, you know, sometimes my OCD will get the best of me because I've actually had it where, you know, trying to remove something like that would actually break or crack a plastic or whatever. So sometimes I'm unlucky with it, sometimes I'm not. But, yeah, many times I've <laughs> made it worse. All right, so um, get this peroxide in there. You know, actually, this this white bulk actually kind of helps because then I can you can kind of make you can see a little how much more yellow it is. So, all right, I'm gonna take this uh, cap off the peroxide. I shook it up. Like I said this is only three point five. I'm gonna try to make sure it's covered. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna make sure it's fully submerged. And then let it sit. So right now it's like around nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna let this sit, and then I'll take it out in the afternoon. And we'll see if there's any any difference. But I'm gonna periodically come back throughout the day and look at it and see if it's any lighter. I, I gotta I gotta go do work and do other stuff. So um, all right, so I let this actually sit overnight. So it definitely looks a lot more clear. And then what I'm doing is it seems to actually help too. Is I'm going back with some. Um, Dawn. I'm just. I'm using my. I don't want to actually use a brush because I don't want to scratch it more. I'm just using my fingers with some soap, Dawn soap. And it seems like. It, but it, I don't know what's going on. But it seems like the peroxide is like pulling the stuff out. And then the Dawn. I can get it off with the Dawn. But you have to remember this thing is from the '70s, so most likely this was probably a smoker. Um, like everybody smoked back in the. You know, um, 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, my grandparents smoked, everybody smoked, my parents smoked. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go back, hit it with Don one more time, and then let it dry, and we'll go back on. But I can just tell it looks way more, you probably can't tell, but for me, I can tell it's way more clear. So, one more thing of Don on there, and uh, we'll take a look, but yeah, I can just tell it right now, it's super clear. All right. All right, there it is. Um, I actually, you probably can't tell in the video, but I actually think it made a difference. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know about using more powerful peroxide, but, um, I think, I actually think it made a difference. It definitely seems like definitely more, less yellow to me, but, um, here's a closer look. So, yeah, there was scratches, so I used some WD-40, it kind of, keep it kind of, uh, it helps hide the scratches, so I just wiped it down with WD-40 in the front. 
I think I love that meter. It's a cool old meter, you know. It's super big and uh, big, big meter. So, all right, that's pretty cool. Learning something new every day.